Bimata V2. This was actually the only Bimata with a Bimata's own engine design. There were articles about it everywhere when it came out in 1997 using top spec suspension and a fuel injected two stroke. That unit was meant to pass emission regulations, which it did, but due to its problems, it killed Bimota for good. Honda NS400R Made as a Freddy Spencer's NS500 replica, the NS400R may be down by 100cc, but it kept its unusual V3 layout with a very compact design and nimble bike behavior. More so, Honda turned the power valve to gradually increase power through the revs without a serious kick like a big turbo spool. Suzuki RG500 Suzuki was another one who introduced a GP derived bike. It also brought a taste of a square 4 cylinder manners to common people. The engine had twin crankshafts, 180 degree offset cylinders for even firing, and was hungry for revs. Even though it was rated with peak power at 9k, it did not stop until 12,000. <laughs> Aprilia RS250 Aprilia takes their bikes very seriously, and even the smallest ones are true superbikes. This RS250 was just about the RS125, but at the end, it is a very different machine. It had a great power, weight of a MotoGP bike, and the racing suspension by Showa and Sachs. Suter MMX500 One may thought that the two strokes are dead, but Suter says otherwise. The MMX500 is equipped with a fully adjustable oil suspension, V4 engine, a custom Akrapovich system, and carbon bits and pieces. It also sits on OZ wheels and provides extreme power to weight ratio. 